Your role as a person-centred social care worker is so much more than just a job. It requires you to be motivated to support the care, protection and well-being of individuals rather than merely doing social care tasks for service users. The way you go about your activities can make the most enormous difference to the people you care for. Here, the carer is focused on the task she's engaged in, paying more attention to the slippers than to the service user. I remember when your daughter bought these for Christmas. Do you remember? Yes, yes. It was a lovely Christmas that year, wasn't it? It was, it was nice. Here, the carer is doing the same activity, but we see her approach engages the service user. Her activity is focused around the individual. You must value and treat people equally and with respect and dignity encouraging and respecting the individual's preferences and protecting them from danger, harm and abuse. To help you to achieve this, there are a number of values that relate to your day-to-day -day practice and are central to you being able to provide person-centred care. This video will help you to understand the principles of person-centred care and how these values apply to your job. It will also explain how person-centred approaches can greatly affect a service user's emotional and physical well-being. Many terms have been used by different agencies to refer to someone that receives a care service, such as service user, client, resident, customer, patient. For the purposes of this video, we shall refer to them as service users or individuals. In order to provide person-centred social care, there are eight values that you need to understand and promote at all times. They are individuality, rights, choice, privacy, independence, dignity, respect, partnership. Let's look at each of these in turn.